In the northern region, leguminous crops are grown primarily for household consumption since the protein content is high. The commonly grown legumes in the region are cowpea, soya beans, bambara beans, and peanuts. These leguminous crops play a key role in crop rotation in most farms since they are notable with nitrogen fixing bacteria. However, the yield per hectare in the various districts in the regions is two tons per hectare, reducing the income of most farmers who want to commercialize the cultivation of the crop. The EU Participatory Pathway Sustainable Intensification Project, in partnership with Savannah Agriculture Research Institute, seeks to increase the income and output level of farmers in the Tolon district through four best practices under demonstration fields. These afford farmers to select legumes under different treatment for the dry season farming. A soil microbiologist, Dr. Edwin, of the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute outlined the rationale behind the field selection day for legumes farmers. Now, with the legumes, we are talking about biofertilizer in the form of rhizobium inoculant. So these are free living organisms there in the soil. So what we did is to now select the effective microorganism which we call the if i mean effective rhizobium strain in the soil grow them in the lab develop them into a product that a farmer can use so when we develop the product we use the inoculum contain two products we have the inoculum and then the carrier the inoculum is the bacteria which is the microorganism and then the carrier is a pit material that help us to apply it now the inoculum perform the same role as the uh, urea. So the cost of this uh, inoculant is 30 Ghana cities per acre. And using the same rate, if you are going to use urea, this year, um, one bag, you need about two bags of urea per, per acre for legumes. Okay, and that is about 170 Ghana cities per 50 kg. So you just do the cost benefit. So you realize that the farmer is better off adopting the rhizobium technology than going in for the mineral and fertilizer. And that is what we don't want to demonstrate to them. Because some farmers are using mineral fertilizer to produce grain legumes. And we say you can do that by using rhizobium inoculant. Some farmers who spoke to GH1 News said they would prefer the inoculant treatment approach since the cost and access to fertilizer is so high. The thing you have been bashing is patraza. Can you have been nonchal tim? Cabotilla patraza. Can you have been cocoshelly? Cabotilla culum, bumbotilly tim. No man, little man, then no patrazama, delarco. Catch it them, Bahama. Shell non tim, cabba patraza, carbab jerco. Catch it them, baculum, mum tim. The Zotinia, the Bahama Tabun in your shed. I color Sarah color Nadali, I am Kola Lala. I won't call him a cup of Bapatraza. Nearly Chang, eh, don't call Cabba Bapatrazama. To the book, Camaria, the Bapatraza Camaria. From Tamale, no one ash for each one news.